I'm Dean Safola, and this is the Azure Academy. Today we're continuing with our connectivity options and we're going to talk about the express route. So let's jump right into the Azure portal. So here we are in our Azure Academy resource group and we're going to start by creating an express route. So we click add and we type in express route. And there it is and we'll create. So we have to answer a few questions here. We'll start off with the name. And now we need a provider. So this is that telco that we talked about in our last video. And as you can see here, we have a number of telco providers and they're located in regions all over the world. Uh, some of these telcos are worldwide, some are not. So if you pick a telco like Verizon, Next thing you have to pick is a peering location. And this is where Verizon has drops that connect to Azure. And as you can see, they've got some that are in Europe and some in the States and then some over in Asia. Let's pick another telco here. Let's go with uh, AT&T. And as you can see here, AT&T has two options in America. Uh, and let's pick uh, another one, Equinix. As you can see here, they have a lot of locations, very global. Um, we'll pick one more How about uh, Zao. And you can see that they have a number of different peering locations as well. So the idea is you pick your provider who's gonna give you that physical circuit. And this could be your current internet provider or another provider. And then you pick whatever peering location is closest to you so that you have the shortest latency to get to uh, Azure. And then once you select that, then you're gonna need to select a bandwidth option. And this is how big of a pipe are they gonna give you? And as you can see, we go from 50 meg all the way up to 10 gig. And this is uh, an ever increasing uh, number. So I think the 20 gig circuits will be out uh, pretty soon. So for right now, I'm just going to pick 50 meg. And then you have a SKU, and that's standard or premium. Now, the big difference between standard and premium is the number of routes that you can have, as well as uh, whether or not um, you have some access to some of the more uh, global features, um, uh, like zero egress costs and things like that. So then there's billing. And metered is when you're going to decide that I'm going to limit my bandwidth and I'm only going to pay for a certain amount. Think of it like a cell phone plan. You have so many gigs of data a month. Unlimited is great, but you're also going to pay for that. So it just depends on how much bandwidth do you need, how much data do you need, and then uh, do you have to worry about uh, data coming back to on-prem. Any data that leaves Azure is what we call egress cost. And there is a cost to that. And you can find that all on our pricing pages and our documentation. So we're going to finish out our build here by putting this in our Azure Academy in our East region. And we're going to hit create. So the express route circuit will take a couple seconds to build. And once it is done, our notification here will be finished couple seconds more. I'll send it by type so we can see it when it comes in. And there's our express route circuit. So hey, we're done, right? We've got 10 gig connection. No, not quite. So when you build the express route, uh, Azure resource of express route is built and provisioned and ready to go, but you're not done. So remember I said you need to partner with a telco. So that telco provider, in this case, I selected Zeo. You would have to contact Zeo and tell them you want a physical circuit set up for Azure Express Route. They would have to set up that physical circuit. However, they provide that, and each provider is a little different. And then what they're going to need from you is this guy, the service key. And that's what lets them know which Express Route object in Azure they will connect to. And then once you have that information, you're going to change from not provisioned to provisioning. And then other options will be uh, able to be uh, set. So right now, 
these peerings are how we do routing in Azure. And private peering is your on-prem network to Azure. And public and Microsoft peering have to do with the Azure public services like Azure SQL or Azure Storage. And Microsoft is related to things like Office 365 and Dynamics 365. So uh, right now we can't set up any of these because our circuit is not provisioned. Okay, so right now, uh, the only other thing that we could really look at here would be some of our configurations. If you wanted to change from standard to premium, you can do that kind of on the fly. However, you may have to talk to your telco about uh, that change. That may mean something uh, that they have to do for you. And then you have your different authorizations that we really can't do much with right now. Um, peerings that we already had looked at. And then the connections. Now, with connections, the question is, what is it that we're connecting? Well, remember, we're connecting on-prem to Azure, which brings us to the second object that we need to provision. And uh, we'll talk about that in our next video, uh, because that's going to be something that we need for each type of these remote connections, and that is a Azure Virtual Network Gateway. So we'll see you in the next video.